Hello, welcome to Murphy's Kitchen. Healthy cooking, it's a lifestyle here. So today video, I'm sharing this tip that I'm using nowadays to cook this llama large beans perfectly to my liking so that anybody who is also struggling how to cook these beans perfectly will have this tip. So I said, why not sharing it? So let's jump into it. So, so now I have my llama beans here. Anybody who knows these beans will know it. For me, it was hard for me to cook these beans perfectly to my liking because they become mushy, soft, and they will all come together. But now that I have these tips, they helps me a lot to cook these beans perfectly to my liking. So you can choose to take the cracking ones out, but I'll add everything to it. And I'm not going to wash these beans because I will strain the first water from my beans. But if you want to wash it, make sure you wash it quickly as you can because when they come in contact with a cold or room temperature water they start to crack so now i'm just going to allow this to start to cook then i will just strain the first water out from the beans so the second tip you need some hot water aside that you are going to use to cook the beans so like i said the hot water is going to prevent these beans from cracking apart so now the beans have started to cook and i'm going to strain the first water from it i believe they take some chemicals out from the beans and also they take dirty out from the beans so i do this with all my beans at this point i've added it back into my pot and now i've added some of my hot water that i set it aside so that's why you need extra hot water aside because you don't want to add cold or room temperature water to that they will start to crack the beans apart so i allow it to cool to cook and after some minutes i switch the beans from the first pot into this pot because the first one was too small for the beans at this point i've turned my heat low these beans doesn't like too much water so even if the beans is soft and it has too much water you can strain some of the water out because you don't want it to be too mushy and super soft that they will, they will combine together so i just allow the vapor to help the beans cook super super soft after that i'm just going to allow this to cool down so that when i'm scooping the beans i don't need to uh, you know smash the beans so at this point i'm just going to save the rest in my glass frozen bowls and i'll keep them in my freezer i always love to cook large batch of beans so that i keep some in my freezer for easy use so if you did enjoy this tip in the video please like share subscribe hit all notification bell so that anytime i upload the video you get a notification to my old subscribers thank you so so much for all your support and always coming back if you are new here please subscribe and join this family for it to grow and i will see you guys on my next video i love you all bye -ya.